This is a shore that was dug on Friday in a bog field. And as you can see, there's a tremendous flow of water coming straight into the drain. And there are roughly four of these shores. That is um, a lot of water. You can get a view of just the flow rate. And it's going into this drain here. There it is, flowing away into the drain. So that'll help to remove a lot of water from the field. Um, this field had three very wet areas in it. It's very dry in other places, but there were old, probably shores or old divisions in the field, and there were hollows, and they were always prone to be wet. So that's one of them there, and we've just followed the original depression in the land, and water seeping in and moving down the channel, which is very good. Um, the good thing about this actually is that we have hit the daub at around f anything between 8 and 14 inches. So that means that this field can actually be mould uh, at an angle into these shores when they're filled in. So that's a very positive development. I thought that the depth of bog was such here that we wouldn't hit the daub until we were down about maybe 17, 20 inches. But um, we have we have hit the daub, so that's that's good. It means that once this shorten is done, I'll mold plough this, and it should make a huge difference. This was once a lovely clean field, and over the years, the rushes have just got worse, and it has got wetter and wetter. There we have another channel there, flowing water again. I went up to a, there was a natural depression up at the top there. And even in good summers, you'd always leave tracks in it with the tractor. So that's that one taken care of. And the water from each side of this should, should actually um, soak in. And then we have probably what was the wettest part of all. Um, this one here. Now, we have a lot of daub. We've hit a lot of daub here. Some of it only seven or eight inches under the top sod. So... Again, we can mold plough that. I'll have to remove all the daub when I'm back filling the channels and just put it up against a ditch somewhere. Again here, we have another through a very wet spot. And this one here continues up here. I see it's partially blocked here, so I'll have to get at it with the spade maybe tomorrow. And that again goes up through a very wet part. So it should reduce the water dramatically in this and leave the field fit and ready hopefully in the summer for topping. This year I hope to top it very tight, remove all the rushes, probably bale them and chop them and bale them for bedding. Cut up the timber, that's useful. Burn the rest of the bushes. And just manage this the same as I managed another field last year where I just continually, as the cattle would eat it, kept topping it down and down. And it reduced the rush infestation to about 15-20%. So that's the plan for this year and bring this back in to production.